Yeah, that's how I'm going to bring you up. Hands together. Next time, pay me my money. Uh, put your hands together. Fair Harknix, everybody. Here. Mike, I told you I don't have your money because I went to Germany. That's the reason. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Give it up for me. I, my last day of work was today. Yeah. And it's a great photo to put on Facebook, so it looks like I'm giving a Nazi salute. Awesome. <laughs> and I just talked about Germany, so that's even fucking better. <laughs> But yeah, today was my last day of work, which means I get to play everyone's favorite game, Countdown Till Homelessness. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should probably be a bit more positive. That was a, one of my New Year's resolutions, because uh, after how horrible 2016 was for everyone, we don't have to talk about it, we just have to accept it. But my resolution was just to be more positive, you know, just think things are going to work out better. And part of what I've had to do to that is just to accept how I was raised Catholic, and that just made me a bitter person. <laughs> so there's only two things that I learned as a Catholic, and that was... Is that working? Okay. I see. The two things I learned being Catholic are that guilt and shame are the best motivators. <laughs> and two... There is no God. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's right there. But so, with the help of my therapist, I've been working a lot trying to change my perspective on things. So, like originally, I said that I was a bitter Catholic. But now, I consider myself more of a, a happy nihilist. <laughs> you know, someone who doesn't think that things are gonna go out right but are happy that they're right. <laughs> For example, originally, when I was a bitter Catholic, I'd feel ashamed when I'd eat an entire package of Oreos. But now that I'm a happy nihilist, I only feel shame that there are no Oreos left. <laughs> originally, I would feel ashamed when I would masturbate to pornography. But now, I can't get off without someone shaming me. <laughs> and originally, yeah, it's, it's true. Works all the time. Get sent to HR all the time. <laughs> originally, I felt ashamed that my life was a, a waste of space and I wasn't going to amount to anything. Yeah! <laughs> that guy, he's a happy nihilist too. But now, I only feel ashamed that I'm bragging that I'm right. <laughs> All right, you guys are a lot more supportive than my parents ever were. <laughs> I don't know how many of you have this in, what, what do you, just wanna ask real quick. What do you guys do if you see a coworker or somebody, like just in public, like if you're waiting for a train, you see them on the train station. Do you guys, like Bob, do you interact with them? You do? A little bit of this. Okay. okay. <laughs> so I had an interaction where I ran into one of my now former coworkers, and I didn't acknowledge them at the moment because there's a strict protocol that I have, and that is you don't interact with people outside of their safe zones. So I don't interact with coworkers, exes, or people who embarrass me in public. So what that means is everyone. <laughs> but, so, but what I do is I say later, I'll go, hey, I saw you the other day at this train station or something. Because, you know, I don't want to be creepy. Because I look like someone that brags about making homemade KY jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Again. I'm this close to just having my creepy car just given to me and being arrested everywhere. <laughs> so I'm white, I gotta be careful about that shit. <laughs> but, so I, I ended up talking to the guy later, like I saw him, I was biking, passed him, didn't say anything. The next day at work, I was like, hey, I saw you the other day. He's like, really? What, 
where'd you see me? It's like, oh yeah, you were, you were at the corner of, uh, what was it, Elston and Milwaukee. Yeah, you were there. And you're wearing that really tight-fitting Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. You know, the, the, the one that like shows off your pecs a bit. That one. <laughs> and, and don't fuck with me, because I saw, I checked Facebook, and saw that you were at a bar like a block over. You clocked in there an hour ago, so don't lie to me, you weren't there. It's like, okay, okay. I also know that you smoke Marlboros like a pack a day. So I could smell your scent when I was coming down on that bike like a block away. So again, don't you fuck with me. And he's like, it's like, again, I don't want to be creepy. But he talks to me, he's like, Eric, I don't care. I'm still reporting you to HR. I'm like, why? It's like, because you talked to me for two hours about how you made KY jelly in your basement. <laughs> So maybe I'm going to have a hard time getting a new job, guys. <laughs> My girlfriend isn't here right now, but we just celebrate, we're about to celebrate our three-year anniversary. Woo! Give it up for that. It's kind of a miracle, though, because I still don't know how I've been able to keep a girlfriend, you know, being a comedian. Because I feel like in order for me to get better, I have to, like, just shoot myself in the foot all the time. <laughs> and just like say, no, I need to sacrifice you for my stand-up. <laughs> but the other big thing is that she's a big movie buff, and I don't watch movies at all. Like everyone except John, since he heard this joke earlier, I will buy you a beer if you can name th my three top movies of all time. No. No. It's Samurai Cop Titanic 2 and Nikki loves big cock. <laughs> One of those is soft po core porn, and it's samurai cock. <laughs> I don't like. I don't know movies at all. Like, just someone shout out a movie name, and I'll try and describe it based on the title. I guarantee you, I haven't heard of it. This goes to college. What? What? Biff goes to college. Biff goes to college? That sounds like another porno. <laughs> another one. The Shawshank Redemption. The Shawshank Redemption? Sounds like someone got shanked and then had to redeem themselves for shanking themselves. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump? You never heard of that movie? No, I haven't. <laughs> it sounds like somebody who has a gimp lives in a forest and tries to talk with gum in his mouth all the time. <laughs> What? What are those? <laughs> Do I look cultured at all to you? 